Hey guys, Robo Scrolls Man here, and welcome back to Battlefield 1 War Stories. Last time we left off, we completed Avanti Savoia, um, which was about the Arditi, and it was about a man who was trying to help his brother survive World War I, but ultimately failed. And this next one is called The Runner. And you pretty much storm the beaches of Gallipoli under the guns of the largest naval fleet hitherto assembled. We came from all over the world, the innocent, the arrogant, and the brave. We thought the war was to be our rite of passage, a grand adventure that would make us all equal in our quest for glory. But instead of adventure, we found fear. And in war, the only true equalizer is death. All right, let's get started. I think I ended up playing through the game without trying to find any fucking things. Alright, Dardanelles, Gallipoli Peninsula, Spring 1915. The British Empire intends to open a new front to the war. Plans for an unprecedented naval invention of the in invasion of the Ottoman homeland are drawn up. The attacking naval force represents the biggest single fleet yet assembled. They gathered ships, carried over half a million men, the drawn force of Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, India, Newfoundland, France, Britain. Something about the Ottoman Empire. Day one. At Cape Helves, the steamship River Clyde is used as a Trojan horse. Crashing into the beach, it deploys several battalions of Allied soldiers. A tenuous beachhead is seized. Half the landing force is killed. Day two. Frederick Bishop? Oh, God. Hey, are you Frederick Bishop? Nope. He's dead, sorry. <laughs> but uh, isn't this your picture? I suppose so. Jack Foster. I'm your new charge. No, you're not. You have to take this kid off me. <laughs> of course not. He came all this way just to see you. Frederick Bishop, the pride of Australia. Been lied about his age to get past conscription. You know Morse code? Yes. Follow me! What a disaster. Our first wave didn't stand a chance. Look at all their defenses. How can we take the beach? We have the dreadnoughts this time. Plug your ears, kid. It's gonna be loud. Send these coordinates. You'll go. With you? Level your gun. Ah! Yeah, okay, you're staying here. And you will move up with rear command only after I fire the signal flare. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> Try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
Damn, why the fuck is he trying to do this? On this mission, or is it five altogether? Okay, 
that doesn't work. <laughs> What the fuck? If you leave it, it goes away. Kind of stupid. I'm, I'm surprised I'm the only person up here. It's taking a long ass time because I'm the only one up here. Time to send up the flare. That's kind of harsh. Come on. I'm gonna die. No, you're not. You're Australian. We're impossible to kill. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Unless. Not Kiwi, are you? <laughs> no. What does that mean? First things first. Yeah, come on, stand up. Follow me. I'm in here. Just arm out. Butt into your shoulder. That's it. Cheek against the butt. No, oh, that's it. Point it where you want to shoot. That's it. Okay. Get your feet apart a little bit. I think part. I already lost my Australians. What can I do you for? Not you, the boy. We need a runner for the front lines. Really? No. Yes. No. You can't make the kid do it. You just stumble into a firefight and get killed. No, no, no. I can do it. No. I'll do it. Fine. You're here with me. And you, you will be running. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.